Hi, glad you could join with me today. As you know, I read through various parts of Scripture each day, and one of the places I am in is in the book of Judges. I completed Joshua, and now I'm on to Judges, and these are really two companion uh, books that really need to be read together in many cases. In chapter 2 of, jo of Judges, I want to suggest to you that uh, the reason why Israel went into any, every kind of judgment and captivity that they went into was because of what they did in chapter 2 of Judges. Now, please understand, it wasn't just the one-time incident. But this happened again and again and again and again. In fact, the book of Judges has been described by many people as cyclical. That there is this time of conflict and then there is a judge that is raised up that brings deliverance and then during the time that that judge reigns there is peace and then when that judge dies they, they fall back into sin and there is more conflict until another judge arrives, arises, and so on and so on. And this cycle appears again and again. Well, it's not just in the cycle of the book of Judges. It's throughout the history of Israel. And in, and in chapter 2 of Judges, it was striking to me when I read that recently that in successive verses, it says they abandoned the Lord. They abandoned the Lord. That's the quote from the English Standard Version. And I would, I would dare say that that's the problem with any kind of conflict. When the, when the protection and the care of God seems to have withdrawn, it's not because he has withdrawn, it's because we have. We have abandoned him. He has always been true. And as long as we faithfully and consciously uh, trust in him and walk with him, he will be faithful to us. But oftentimes the history of mankind is that after something really startling happens and we walk with him, then things kind of ebb back into a normal and the enemy of our souls gets his his tentacles into us again and we turn away and we follow the idols and the fetishes and all the uh, other kinds of gods of this particular world. That's the cycle that happened not only to ancient Israel and Judah, but also to us in this day. And so I, I want us to remember that when we abandon the Lord, he ends up bringing judgment, just like we see throughout the stories within the book of Judges. And I, again, my, my motions here uh, demonstrate that this is all so very cyclical. And it's not just in ancient times, but it's in our times as well. Now, when we abandon the Lord, very often we replace him with something else. And that is the idols and, the, and the, um, the gods that are vying for supremacy in this world. We might also call them demons because the idols that we worship usually give allegiance to Satan himself. Oh, they have their own particular areas that they are uh, looking at. But their, their allegiance is to that ultimate rebel, Satan, who who turned away from God back in the time before the garden and, and, uh, and fell from grace that way. Tempted the Adam and Eve, our first parents, and then brought sin and degradation on this earth. And that, and that is still the thing that he is seeking to do. So these idols that are around the world are, 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 uh, are, are demonic forces that are looking for control over our lives or over regions and, uh, and people groups and nations. And that's what they abandoned the Lord to embrace back in Judges chapter 2. And that's what we abandon the Lord to embrace even in our day.
when we turn away from him, when we follow and sin, when we follow something else and sin, it's because we have, we have uh, acknowledged some kind of idol as being more important than the true and living God. And that's a subtle thing that the enemy does. He brings into our lives those temptations that would lure us away, just as he did in ancient Israel after Joshua died. And so I want to remind us that, that this is the normal experience of men. We tend to abandon the Lord given no other influence. It's so important that we day by day by day by day keep our nose in Scripture, keep praying, keep our, our hearts attuned to Him, because the truth is that if we don't, the enemy will find some way to get into our lives and get the tentacles of his, uh, of his influence into us so that we sin and fall away from him. Let's not do that, but rather let's keep close to the Lord. Father, we ask you to be very near to us and to strengthen us and to provide for us. We pray that you would open our hearts and minds to know you more fully and completely. And we pray, Father, that we would keep our hearts fixed upon you so that we don't abandon you in favor of others, but rather we remain true. At, we ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day now.